In this video, we're going to be turning this cube into a chair. And to do that, we're going to turn it into one of the struts on the back of the chair and build it out from there. So if we want to turn this into a strut, we need to make it much thinner and much taller. So we want to squeeze it along the green and the red lines. These lines have names, which we can see on the widgets in the top right hand corner. Red being X, green being Y, and blue being Z. We can't see blue though. To see it better, click on the move tool on the left hand side and you can see the arrows. So let's size this along the Y axis. If we press S followed by Y on our keyboard, we could actually squeeze it along that axis and also along the red line as well. S followed by X. And now we have something that looks a little bit more like a strut on the back of the chair. So if we do one last time, S followed by Z, we can make it much longer. And that there looks like a quite decent strut to have on the back of your chair. We would need to have another strut on this side and then to build the panels of wood between the struts. But before we do that, we need to prepare this strut before we copy it and make another one. So we're gonna go into edit mode and we're going to go and use the tool down here, which is called loop cut. If I click on loop cut, you can see I can chop it long ways or sideways. I'm gonna chop it right in the middle like that, depending where my mouse is. I'll just click left. Now we have this nice orange line going around the strut and this new menu has appeared in the bottom left hand corner. If I click on that, I can tell how many cuts we want to have in our strut. So I want to have three for the moment. So I can go back to the move tool, but then I think actually I want to have another cut in there. So if I go back to my loop cut tool, I'm going to have another cut here. But if I, if I click and hold the left mouse button, it allows me to move this cut to exactly where I want it. I want it to be just there. Back to the move tool, back into object mode. So this is my strut that I've prepared. I need to copy and paste it. Control C, Control V. And I've got two struts now, which I want to then build planks of wood between. But first of all, I need to join them properly. So I'm gonna select one, hold shift, select the other one using left click, and then to join, Control J. And now the two struts are joined together. They are now part of the same object. So if I go into edit mode, you can see that I'm actually editing the same object. So I want to make a strut of wood going between here and here. So these two faces need to be joined together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the face. I select the face and I hit the delete key and it asks me what do I want to delete? Well, I just want to delete the faces on their own. There we go. On the other side, select this one, delete key, delete the faces on their own. So we need to start joining these two sections together. We've got two empty holes facing each other. I want to fill this with wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the edge on that side and then holding down shift, select the opposite edge. And if I press the F key, it should hopefully add a face. There we go. Same for the top. Select that edge, that edge, and that edge. Hit F to make a face. And then this one, this one, and this one. Just double check I've got the right ones there. No, I haven't. Be very careful. So that one, that one, and that one. Holding down shift. And then press F to make a face. And then finally, along the bottom, we're going to go and select these four edges. And then we're ready to finish the face. So we have the top strut of our chair. We now need to make the base of our chair. And what we're going to do is we're going to build it along the bottom here. So if again, I delete these two faces, great. And then I can start to rebuild the back of the chair. So select those two edges, hit F, adds a face between them. Select these three edges. Oops, let's just make sure I can get into it. There we go, face. And then these three, face and then along the bottom face. So I've built the bottom of my chair and the top of my chair. And what I can do to build the chair out is select these three faces holding down shift and then just press E to extrude. And now I've built the front of my chair. And if I want to go and make the legs of the chair, I've got these two nice ready bits here to pull down if I want to. But the problem is there are no bits at the front for me to pull the legs down from. So to do that, I can go back into my loop cut mode. I'm going to 
click and drag this to where I want to have it just there. And that allows me to see that there are some nice kind of square shaped areas there which I can pull down into the legs. So if I click, drag and let go, I now have, let's go have a look, on the bottom of my chair, I've got one, two, three, four potential legs. And to pull the legs down, I press E to extrude, pull it down, and now I have my rather blocky but quite nice chair.